Hey everybody, it's Mike, KO4PDI, Weird of Fun Guy, and yeah, we're gonna do some video today. I'm gonna take down the tower, uh, eliminate the preamps, and maybe add the 93 inch fiberglass cross arm. It's gonna be a hot one, but I figured I'll do my best to make you happy. All right, let's see how we make out. Let's head to the backyard. Okay, so we're in the backyard. Uh, the tower's right over there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over here, I'll just show you. What's great, I got this new gimbal with a remote that's keeping track of me. Here's the tower. All the uh, antennas have been lowered down and uh, they're loose now, so that's good. And I'm gonna fold over the tower right now and uh, use my remote. What's really cool, the winch that I have on the wall behind me is connected to this remote control. And with this remote control, I can lower the tower. With this remote control, I control the camera. <laughs> it's amazing technology, isn't it? And don't mind all those tangled up wires back there. Once I get this tower where I want it, those are all gonna be replaced and trimmed and made to look really nice. Okay, a lot of time has elapsed since you saw the time lapse of, I mean the, yeah, the time lapse of me lowering the tower. The tower's down and I disconnected the uh, preamps. We're not gonna put them back on and I bypassed them, but I wanted to show you a couple of little tricks I did to enable me to raise and lower this tower with a 2,300 pound winch. Because this thing, at the position it's in now, when I go to lift it, it's gonna be like 1,800 pounds of pressure until it gets above 10 degrees. Then the pressure kind of lightens up a little bit. But getting it from horizontal to vertical takes a lot more uh, precision and a lot more time. Let me get my camera off of here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you my pulley system that I put in. So here is the stainless steel pulleys hooked up to my winch is right there and you can see it goes back and forth multiple times actually three times it goes back and forth every time it goes back and forth it goes to another pulley just like this this is a stainless steel pulley I picked up on Amazon I'll put a link in the description on how to get these and if you go over to the other end over here you will see the other end is identical pulley right here now you have to make sure when you string these cables through here that they both go in the same direction. And this is wrapped around the tower with a short chain. And we use here, instead of using a carabiner or something like that, we use something that can't come apart. This is, I believe this is called a turnbuckle right here. That holds the pulley and connects it to the chain. It's the same on both sides. Each one of those pulleys can handle 2,000 pounds and the cable can handle 500 pounds per strand. So we got 2,000 pounds of pull here from, we got one right here, two, three, four cables going through. Now, the original cable that came with this winch was only 50 feet, it was not long enough. Well, I went out and I bought a 100 foot cable and replaced the existing cable with a 100 footer. That gives me enough slack that I could do this whole uh, pulley system. And most of this isn't gonna get wound up on the cable anyway, probably just one length from here to that pull, from the winch to the first pulley up there. That's all gonna get wound up on the cable, but the rest of it is gonna still be within the pulley system. Now, I removed the preamps from the tower and I put, instead of rerunning the coax up to the antennas, what I did was I put bulkhead connectors on the 70 centimeter and the two meter antennas wrapped in weather stripping. This is gonna be something as the sun beats down on it, I'll have to keep checking it, but that's no big deal. I could just lower it down. Here's my Yesu rotor. I did not replace the cross arm. Why? It's too freaking hot. <laughs> that's another day. But I did take off the giant 70 centimeter antenna and I put my original short one on. And what I noticed in the process was somehow this got twisted and the antennas were pointing that way, not that way. This is the way they got to point so that when the tower is vertical, they'll be pointing north. Uh, not only was my uh, aim off on the 70 centimeters, uh, 
and possibly the uh, amp, the preamps are causing an issue. That's why I got rid of them. I really don't need them, and people I talk to never use the powered preamp most of the time. The reason I had the preamps was because when I had my egg beaters up here, um, you needed the preamps because you wouldn't hear anything without it because they're omnidirectional. So that's good news. Anybody wants to buy my egg beaters, uh, you can get them with the preamps now. I'm going to be selling them with the preamps. I hope you like that idea. People also ask me, how do I get my 160 meter end fed up in the air and how do I get my 80 meter off center fed up in the air? I put this cross arm in with these clamps that I bought at Home Depot right here. You use two of them together and they hook up to the tower and then they hook up to the cross arm, which is a six, uh, five foot long, no, six foot long uh, conduit that I picked up at Home Depot. So we rotated the tower so it's going to be pointing north when I make it vertical. Uh, we made sure all the lines are not crossed up. Everything's good. We got plenty of slack so the rotator can ro rotate around. And we got a great pulley system that's going to help me lift this thing back up. So let's do that. How about them apples? Well, we're back in the shack. How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, we got the tower back up. We got it all aimed the correct way. We got all the preamps off the pole. And uh, now we're gonna try to do some satellite contacts with it today. Hopefully it works out great. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. I have taken a dip in the pool. I've washed my hair. <laughs> Man, it was hot out there. Oof. Uh, 90 freaking degrees they got it's excessive heat warning in effect so yeah it was a tough day to be doing this but you know i'm the kind of guy I, I can't wait i gotta get it done when i have the time so it's a beautiful sunday uh nascar race isn't on until super late this afternoon probably i think 6 30 or something uh tonight from richmond virginia i'm gonna watch that and enjoy that maybe sit outside and enjoy a cigar but man i needed a dip in the pool after that so we're back in a ham shack. The uh, antenna's back up. I have it working and uh, you can check the notes here for the pulleys and stuff like that that I mentioned before. Also, they'll be in my Amazon store, which you can get to off of ko4pdi.com. And uh, you can look it up there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video showing you a few little tips and tricks that I use to get my tower up and down. I'm very happy with the way the pulley system worked out. It was absolutely the best idea. ND1C was the one that first suggested uh, doing something like that along with uh, um, the 75 ohm ham. Go watch his channel too. Um, yeah, and uh, Ziggy had the, he was the biggest help because I went crazy trying to find the right kind of pulley to use and I found them on Amazon and they're stainless steel, which means they're gonna work out great. I also have this spray that I put on them. I'll get you the name of that spray in a second. Um, yeah, my buddy Jim, who was part of the 82nd Airborne and worked in Afghanistan and Iraq, told me about this spray that one of, the, one of his counterparts actually invented this spray to keep stuff from corroding. Great thing to clean guns with and everything. This is the stuff. This is amazing. It's called Strike Hold. This is what it looks like. You can get this on Amazon, I believe. Uh, this is for all types of metals. It stops all kinds of corrosion and stuff like that. So uh, keep it in mind, Strike Hold. This was developed by a guy who my ND1C, my, my mentor and uh, Elmer, he told me about this for cleaning guns, but it's also good. I put it on the entire cable on the winch and I put it on all the pulleys and everything to prevent any corrosion on any of those things. So uh, yeah, great stuff, strike hold. Not, not affiliated, not getting paid for this, but uh, just figured I'd let you know. 